ask him something. But since you are going, maybe you could do it for me. Okay, what is it? I always do good things for people, but I never rise up to heaven. I want to know why. Okay, let's go. arrived at the gates of the palace and received permission to proceed to the throne room. Seated on the throne was a fierce-looking old man dressed in robes of embroidered silk. I am Fuyo, the god of the West. Why have you come to see me? Your Majesty, I have come to ask four questions. Four questions? Four questions are forbidden! You may ask only and all numbers of questions. One, and not two. Three, but not four. Or if you wish, you may ask five, but not six. Question one. On my way here, I met a woman who had a speechless daughter. She wants to know when her daughter could speak. Mm. Go on, go on. Question two. A kind man I met wants to ask why his apple tree wouldn't bear fruit. Go on, go on. Mm. Now you are the god, I am the god. Sorry, sorry. Any more questions? Yes, yes. The lion which showed me the way here was to ask why he never rise up to heaven, even though he did a lot of good things. Mm. Any more questions? Mm. Can I ask one more? No! You may ask five, but not four! But, but just one more? Mm. Alright, alright, no more questions. Here, take these and do as I tell you. Thank you, Your Majesty. Liu figured he could always come back to ask his question as he is young and strong enough to make the journey again. Once he got back to the mountain, he met the lion. Rufu Yo says you have to do two good things before you can rise up to heaven. First, you must take me down the mountain. Then, you must take off the giant perk in your mouth. Oh, sure, no problem. Let's go. Until he came to the young man's house. Hey, huh? back. Yes. Fuyo says there is a chest of treasure buried under the apple tree. Dig them up and the tree will bear fruit. Really? Yes. Oh, oh, oh. 
Nicholas. I'm just so happy to help you. No, no, you must take this. As a reward, the young man gave Liu some of the gold and a few apples to eat along the way. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Liu continued his journey, arriving at the woman's house several days later. Hey, Liu, you're back at last. Yes. Fu Yu says your daughter will speak. When she set her eyes upon the man she is to marry. Oh, thank you, ah. Uh. The man, the man for you. Liu, will you take my ring as your darling forever? Me? Really? Wait, okay or not? You see, so beautiful. Mm, not too bad. Okay lah. Will you marry me? I, I, I do. Yes. Liu once again went on his way. Now, even heavier than before, because he had with his new wife, Ling. At last, they reached home by the shores of Olive Lake. My son, my son, you're back at last. I made it, I finally made it. You see, I brought you a pearl, some apples, some gold, and... Oh, where is, where is? But, I have one more surprise. Who is this beautiful girl? She is my new wife, Ling. Not bad, huh? <laughs> but everything will be just perfect if only the waters of Olive Lake will come back to life. As soon as he spoke these words, <gasps> my dear, how was it possible? This bro, this bro is magical. It just grants out your wish. Ling, Liu and his father had all they needed from that moment forward and Liu never again had to wonder why he worked so hard yet stay so poor.